This video will show you how you can have the Soil Spec Tensiometer Soil Moisture Monitoring System up and running quickly and easily on your farm so you can provide your crops with the right amount of water at the right time. The Soil Spec Tensiometer System enables you to combine your knowledge and experience with the accurate information the Soil Spec provides to get great results from your business. The Soil Spec Standard Gauge comes complete and ready to use with a 9 volt alkaline battery. The computer gauge also comes with the easy to set up, easy to use moisture plot computer program for PCs running Windows 95 or later, plus cable and adapter. We also recommend that you read the support information included in the kit. But remember, if you need help or advice, please ask. We've chosen distributors who have agronomists on staff to assist you. Or you can call, fax or email SoilSpec. Firstly, you'll need to decide on monitoring sites. To build a complete picture of the moisture behaviour on your farm, you'll need a number of monitoring sites, which take into account different crops, soil types, topography and irrigation systems. A good way to begin is to draw a rough plan of your farm, marking on it the different areas. Each will require at least one tensiometer site. For trees and vines, pick an area at the edge of the root zone, wetted by the irrigation, but avoid a spot directly under a dripper or spray. Also, avoid extremes, such as springs or wet spots, which will give an unrealistic reading for the area in general. Remember, you can always change your mind at a later stage, easily moving sites or adding to them. You may decide to monitor just one area initially until you build up confidence and experience. Each monitoring site requires two or three tensiometers at different depths depending on the root depth of the crop. The tensiometers are placed in and around the root zone of the crop, the area from which the crop draws its moisture. This will not only allow monitoring of current soil moisture content at these depths, but will also show the movement of moisture through the soil during irrigation cycles. Vineyards and orchard fruits, such as apples, pears and citrus, will generally need 30, 60 and 90 centimetre tensiometers, that's 12, 24 and 36 inches. For vegetables and most pastures, two tensiometers at 20 centimetres and 45 centimetres, or 8 and 18 inches, will do the job. If you're not sure what size probes to use, your local agronomist or soil spec agent can advise you. The night before putting the tensiometers in the ground, put them in a bucket of clean water to thoroughly soak the ceramic tip. Auger a 50 millimeters or 2 inch diameter hole near the edge of the crop root zone, 50 millimeters or 2 inches shorter than the depth required for the tensiometer. Using a piece of 20 millimetre or 3 quarter inch tube, punch a small impression deeper into the hole. This will ensure good contact with the tip of the tensiometer in undisturbed soil. Now, simply backfill the hole, compacting the soil as you go with a rod. Mound the soil slightly at the top of the hole to prevent water from puddling around the tensiometer. Eventually, this could run down the sides of the tube and affect your readings. Number the tag of each tensiometer with the special non-fade soil spec pen provided. Fill the tube with distilled or clean boiled water to within 10 millimeters or half an inch of the stopper. A couple of drops of food dye can help to highlight the water level in the tube. It's important to protect the tensiometers from animals, machinery and the direct heat of the sun. Some people use electric fencing. A piece of polytube might also do the job in your situation. But take care that in covering the tubes, you don't also cover the area of ground above the measuring site, for example with a bucket, because this will affect your readings. You can install the probes at an angle. This can help where taking readings would otherwise be difficult and will also protect the tops of the tubes from stock. It is generally recommended that you take a set of readings two or three times a week and possibly more frequently during critical growth times. If you're using the computer gauge, 
First, clear any previous readings from the memory. Make sure the needle is vertical before pushing it into the rubber stopper, otherwise the needle will be bent as it goes in. For the standard gauge, simply note the tensiometer number and the reading. For the computer gauge, enter the tensiometer number and save the reading. The gauge will automatically save the date and time. Check the water level in the tube and top it up as required. Stoppers should be changed once a month. Repeat this for each tensiometer on site. As you collect sets of readings, you will gradually build up a picture of what's happening with the moisture in your soil, either by plotting the readings manually from the data collected or by downloading the set of readings directly from the computer gauge into your PC. Just plug in the cable and click the button marked download. A typical graph demonstrates how the soil moisture is constantly changing, as you would expect. As the soil dries out, it becomes more and more difficult for your crop to extract moisture. Soil suction increases until it reaches a point where the crop can no longer extract enough moisture to sustain proper growth. If you allow your crop to reach this point, known as the wilting point, permanent damage has already occurred and will result in reduced yield at harvest time. If you can see that your plants are stressed, it's already too late. But with a picture of your soil moisture levels, you can easily and accurately predict ahead of time when to irrigate before that stress occurs. And using data you have previously collected, you can adjust your irrigation schedule to prevent underwatering or overwatering. Plotting the readings of two tensiometers gives a site reading that might normally look like this. You can see how the irrigation moves through the soil. You can immediately see from this set of readings that the subsoil is too wet, possibly due to a drainage problem or overwatering. If your graph looks like this, it indicates that the irrigation is failing to reach the deeper tensiometer and also the deepest plant roots. Perhaps irrigation is inadequate or there could be another problem such as a clay barrier or hard panning which is preventing the water from getting through. For most crops you should try to maintain a moisture level of between 10 to 50 kilopascals or centre bars. This will give good results in most cases. However, because the farming environment is so varied, it's worth checking with your agronomist to confirm these levels. You can see how easy it is to see exactly what is happening throughout the soil profile, so that you can optimise your irrigation practices and pick up any problems which may exist on your farm. And, by reviewing graphs from previous seasons, you can also learn from past practices and eliminate developing problems before they cause damage. With a minimum of effort and expense, the soil spec tensiometer system will enable you to minimise waste of water, especially during drought, maximise nutrient uptake, minimise loss of fertilisers and minerals from the root zone, reduce drainage problems and effects on the water table, and minimise soil degradation. It will ensure that you reap the economic benefits of proper soil moisture management, saving money, increasing profits, and enhancing the long-term sustainability of your business.